Hi everyone, welcome to my new channel. I'm very happy to have you here. Today we are doing a reading for Pisces for the second half of November. We're going to go ahead and see what are the messages that need to come through, what do you need to know, what's coming your way, what's happening for you in the second half of November. Let's go ahead and start. Messages for Pisces. Second half of November. What's happening? What's happening? Pisces, what else? What else for Pisces? Okay. What are the messages we have for Pisces? clarify the cards and we'll see what's happening here. Let's start with three of wands. Three of wands. Pisces. All of them. Okay. Oh wow, look at that. We've got two of wands. Five of wands. And ace of cups. Alright. Let's go ahead and clarify the star. And, uh, Let's clarify Ace of Swords. Ace of Swords. Nine of Wands. Four. <laughs> Ace of Swords. All right. And three of Cups. Nice. Okay, five of cups. Five of cups. This one. Eight of swords. Ten of swords. Four of ones. And six of wands. All right, let's see the six of pentacles here. Four pentacles. Top card. The tower. What else? A nice of pentacles. We can find out. Knight of cups. All right. And let's clarify two of swords. Two of swords here. The sun. <laughs> two of swords. Okay. Ten of wands. Alright, let's find out what area. Okay, all right. Let's go ahead and see what's happening here. So you are waiting for something. You're waiting for something. I have a, uh, I feel very strong energy of you wanting to travel here. You're making some decisions here. I feel like you're making some decisions to go somewhere else. Look at this two of wands and three of wands. Normally three of wands would be waiting for your ships to come in, but I feel like you are waiting to go somewhere else. We're still once here. I feel like you want to travel. I feel like there is some, uh, maybe some arguments going on around you and where you are right now. And you want to walk away from this. I feel like you want to take a break. I'm not saying there is no endings here or anything like that. It could be something to do with your romantic love life. But I feel like you just want to take a little break. So if there is some um, arguments going on in your romantic union right now. If there is some uh, maybe disagreements or something. 
maybe it would be wise to um, take a break, take a little break, rejuvenate your energy. But I do see you uh, strongly thinking about travel here. That's what I see, Pisces. That's what I see. And what other messages do we have here? All right, some healing in your financial situation is needed. Um, the star energy here is the energy of healing. It's uh, coming balance into uh, uh, bringing balance into your life, and uh, definitely there is this also reciprocal energy here with six of pentacles. I feel like this is what you're working on. You're currently working on on bringing some balance in your financial situation here. Definitely with the star energy, there is healing. There is healing here of your finances. Uh, Four of Swords is also talking about uh, healing and some recouping of energies here. You might need a little bit of, of um, extra energy here to build up this project when it comes to your finances. You are starting here from the roots. You're building your money from the roots and uh, you want to achieve this energy of balance, this energy of infinity and equal give and take when it comes to your money situation. But there is, some, there is healing here. For sure, I do see some healing in your finances here. Your money situation is uh, uh, becoming better. You, you are growing something from the, uh, from the roots. And eventually you will get to this equal give and take and you will get the reciprocal energy. Whatever energy you're going to be putting in into growing this um, project, this business of yours, if you do have your own business, or just um, in your work, in your job, you will be getting the rewards that you deserve equal rewards to, uh, to the energy that you are putting in healing is coming here definitely all right let's see what is this ace of swords clarified by ace of swords and you have a full here clearly some new beginnings here clearly something that uh, you've been persevering you were not um, um, given up you you, did, you didn't give up in this and there are some new beginnings here there is new beginnings that bring you celebration now this could be in very in different areas of your life this could be some uh, uh, communication situation here this could have been uh, you trying to establish communication with somebody in your life possibly an aries and it's been uh, taking a while it's been taking a while you've been persevering and it's not coming your way. You're starting a new journey here when it comes to communicating with this person. And in the end, it's going to bring you celebration. On this particular card, I do feel like there is a strong energy of an Aries here. So if you are, if you have been dealing with the Aries, and maybe there was some turbulent energy in your relationship here, I see new beginnings. I see new beginnings, a fresh start in communication that eventually bring you to celebration. That's what I see here. All right, Pisces. What else? What else do we have here? We have this energy of Five of Cups. This is you reminiscing about something. This is you reminiscing about the past. This is you looking at this three spilled cups in front of you and not seeing what's behind you. There is some endings here, for sure. There was some ending here. Ten of Swords. This is a complete ending. And I feel like you feel a little bit imprisoned. Um, in whatever situation was, it definitely imprisoned in your past here. This could be something with your uh, home. This could be something with um, to do with your family here, for sure. Um, but there is some self-imposed restrictions here as well. I think that this is uh, this ending here. Whatever this happened here, it feels to me like it keeps you imprisoned. It keeps you in your head. You're definitely in your head here. You're reminiscing about the past. And you need to turn around. You need to know that you are the star. You are the star of your own story. And uh, you will get the recognition here and the win in the end that you desire. But whatever has happened here, it is a full end. The stand of souls here is it's the end. It's time to go to this new bright light here. It's time to see the uh, turn around, change your perspective here. Look at these two cups behind you and recognize your power. Recognize your power to remove the self-imposed restrictions, to take off the blindfold, to look at the mirror, to look at yourself. Recognize your power and look for the cups that are full behind you. Do not uh, look at the ones that are in front of you. They've already spilled. There is an end in here. Ten of Swords. 
All right. What else is happening? What else is happening here for my Pisces? Look at that. There is some transformation with your finances. If for those Pisces that have been on a tight budget recently, for those Pisces who have been holding on to their money um, quite tight, maybe there was some uh, situation here with your finances, there was a little bit of a lack of finances in your life, I see there is a big change coming. There is a sudden change coming. This tower, I love this tower. This is a transformational tower. This is the tower that doesn't have people falling out of it and it's not on fire. This is a tower that has butterflies. This is a definite transformation and it's a transformation in your money situation. There is a new offer coming your way. There is this offer of money coming your way. Now, this could be a gift of money, but this also could be a, an offer of a new job, a new offer of a new career. This could definitely be some new fresh start here. And this could be coming from a fellow water sign. There is this Knight of Cups energy here. This is a fast moving energy here. This is somebody who's coming to help you navigate through this sudden change here, through this transformation that will definitely shake you up and bring you this offer. This offer that will definitely help you out with your budgeting, that will help you out with your money situation. I see a good new start here for you. That's what I see, Pisces. Let's have a look what else is happening here. Two of Swords. Two of Swords. There are some choices to be made. You have two of swords twice. There are some choices to be made. You need to take off your blindfold. The sun wants to bright, uh, to shine bright on you. And you do have sun coming in for you. You just need to make choices. You need to make choices. And it feels to me like you need to make choices of uh, dropping some burdens here. And go for something new. I feel like some of you might be making a choice of... Um, uh, going uh, uh, to study something, to learn something new. Some of you might be deciding which career to choose and uh, maybe which university to go to. Or some of you might be deciding if you should uh, go back to university. Some of you might be deciding to drop the burdens of what you have in right now, whatever responsibility you're taking uh, care of right now, and go study something new so you you can uh, you can um, start a new career. There is a strong energy here for me of uh, somebody who might have been out of a job for a while. Maybe somebody who's been taking care of a family and uh, been at home taking uh, doing a job of a housewife here possibly, and now deciding to go and study something else study something else to maybe go and actually get a job somewhere else and uh, work for somebody here the sun is here the happiness is yours to take so whatever choice you're going to make you need to take off this blindfold and make that choice drop the burdens that no, uh, don't serve you and don't allow you to start this new beginning here Page of Swords is a student of the deck, so you definitely will be learning something new here. That's what I see, Pisces. This is what I see. Let's go ahead and pull some Oracle cards for you and see what other messages we can get. What else is happening for my Pisces? What else is happening for my Pisces? Look at that. Oh, this too. Okay. Ha. Uh -huh. Okay. New opportunity. All right, Pisces. Uh, yes, it is possible. Some of you will be getting engaged with this energy of a peacock. This, uh, and you're absolutely attracting people towards you. And yes, you could be getting engaged. There could be even uh, some. Uh, document signing here you might be even getting married for some of you Pisces here moving to a new home you might be signing a new lease or a new contract or a new home here I do definitely feel this is an energy of a new home here so it is possible maybe you're taking your relationship to a new level your romantic relationship for some of you Pisces doesn't necessarily have to be a marriage but definitely some prosperity in your romantic love life maybe you're moving in with somebody here this is for some of you, Pisces, for sure. All right, this is what I see for you. 
These are the messages for the second half of November. I hope you enjoyed this reading. If you did, please like the video and subscribe to my channel. And I hope to see you here again. Bye for now.